When we created the character of Janeway, we knew we were taking a risk. Would the fans sit still for a female captain? It had never happened. Would they accept that? Would they insist that a captain had to be male? I don't want to underestimate the value of having a female captain in 1995 who commanded a starship. Star Trek has always prided itself on being years ahead. Isn't that the concept of Star Trek? Isn't that what Star Trek is about? They brought in four or five different actresses to do screen tests, and we literally did screen tests. We did this one particular scene over and over with different actresses. I was in the scene, that they, the, t the test scene that they were shooting, and they simply weren't that happy with you know, who they brought in. They were thinking twice about having a female captain. The casting office was right behind my window, and they had Native, Native Americans of both genders going back there, which fed the idea that they might be casting a male instead of a female. You said, if it is a male captain, they're gonna cast the first officer and doctor as female. There was a tremendous rumor that if they couldn't find the right actress to play Captain Janeway, they might change the captain to a male, then one of the other males in the show will be turned into a female. We may have auditioned some men I don't remember. We're talking 20, we're talking 27 you years ago. You did. As, for, uh, for Voyager? Yeah, as it got deeper into the process and the search continued, right. I, and I do believe it was the studio that asked you to start looking at men just in case. Did we look at men? Yes, we did. Did we want a male captain? No, we didn't. I do remember, for what it's worth, and it may not be worth much, I did tell Michael Piller and Jerry Taylor that if the captain wasn't a woman, I didn't want to work on the show. The idea of a male captain on Voyager may have been in a studio executive's mind, but it never filtered down to us. None of us really wanted to go there, but we needed to at least have the casting process. My recollection is it was never a very deep, heavy look. When we got down to the finalists, they were all women. I think maybe if we hadn't found uh, a female actor to, to play the role that we were comfortable with, that might have happened. But the the big story here has to do with this uh, woman, Geneviève Bougeot. Oh, Geneviève. Oh, how I miss thee, Geneviève. Well, you know, one of the things that made me want to be on the show was Geneviève Bougeot would be the captain. And we felt like it was a gift from heaven that the very talented actress, Geneviève Bougeot, was interested in this part. To get someone of her stature who had done only movies, major feature films, to do television was such a coup. Jerry and Michael and the studio were just enamored with the fact that this movie star wanted the role. She did not read for the role. Her name came up as an opportunity and there was enormous discussion about her. This is an Academy Award winning actress. What kind of gravitas and strength that would bring to the role, which candidly I think a lot of people were relying on. I just got a sense this was not gonna work.